Okay, so today we're going to look at how to determine the pH of a soil sample. There's a few different ways that you're able to determine the pH of a soil sample. You can use a pH meter, like we have here. You can use universal indicator solution, which we have here, and you're able to compare to a colour chart. Or you can also use pH paper or universal indicator paper, which is here. And again, it's about comparing it to a colour chart. So the first step would be to measure out um, your soil sample. So I'm going to get about 20 grams of this soil sample. It's dry and it's a sandy soil. Right, so I'm going to add in my 25 ml of distilled water into my soil sample. I'm going to give it a stir. I'm going to leave this sit now for five minutes. Meanwhile, so while I'm waiting for this to sit, I'm going to prepare the filter paper for my filter funnel um, in order to be able to use my universal indicator. And now I'm also just going to make sure to calibrate my pH probe. So I'm going to place it into my beaker of distilled water here where it should get down to a pH of 7. That way we know it's reading correctly because the water should be neutral. And then we should be able to put this into our soil sample in order to determine the pH. Okay, so now we're ready to go with this. And the pH probe is also reading at about... 6.8 so it's calibrated and ready to go okay so having stirred it around a bit the ph is actually not changing that much um so it's at a ph of 6.7 so ideally for farmers the ph should be between 6.5 and 7.5 for optimum crop growth so now we're going to have a look at how to actually get the ph using the p the universal indicator paper so with this you can see that there is a colour chart, okay? So it can come with the book, so there can be this colour chart, and also you'll find it on the inside of each packet, so you can see pH 1 to 6, with 1 being the most acidic, and then 6, and then pH 7 to 14. So I'm just going to take out a piece of paper here, and I'm going to dip this into the soil sample, just to double check that the pH we get here is the very same as the pH we had Looking at this, we would pair this up with the, just have it there beside them, you could determine it at pH 7. Okay. Right, so I have my beaker there, underneath, ready to collect anything that filters through. Filter paper in the filter funnel, just going to give this a good stir and then pour it into this here. Okay, so enough time has passed. It's still filtering through, but we're going to add in just two drops of our universal indicator solution into the beaker down here, and we're going to see the colour that goes. Okay, so you can see that we're still getting the green colour that we were getting with the pH paper and in line with what we got in the electrode. Um, so you just compare it to the colour chart that you've been given in the lab for this, whether it's the same as this one or if it has its own, and then you should be able to determine that it's in and around a pH of 7.